Just under a year ago, me and my brothers went on a trip to southern Italy. I filmed everything, but never edited the footage. Well, better late than never, they say, right? These videos show off everything we enjoyed that Naples and the Amalfi Coast had to offer. Enjoy. Day two of the Phil vlog. A bit tired, if I'm honest. We did a lot yesterday. Flashback to yesterday. B roll. And we're just waiting for Anthony. He's just taking forever. But because it's going to be very hot, we're walking around on an island today. Might not be that much shade, so I'm being sensible wearing a hat. Seb's is in the bag, don't worry. And yeah, we're heading off to the island Isha. I'm probably saying that incredibly incorrectly, apologies. I'm ne near the island of Capri. Capri is incredibly touristy, incredibly busy and glitzy and glam. We're not after all of that for shopping. We just literally want to go somewhere where there are thermal baths, which there are, where there's sea, which there is, and where there's good food, which there is. Where is the minion? Anthony? After Hopalong had finally got his bag sorted, we headed out into the streets of Napoli, which for some reason had chickens roaming around. A taxi ride later, we have made it to the port. We got to the first port and unfortunately it was incredibly busy and there was a massive queue. We weren't going to be able to get onto the um, ferry we wanted, so there's a quieter hopefully port, a bit further down, which has a ferry in about 45 minutes um, to an hour. Um, it's much cheaper, so we're saving ourselves money but we are wasting time, which is annoying. Anthony's got a little bit of cover from the shade. Nice parasol. Sensible. <laughs> Success. The ferry ride over to Isha was stunning, with scenery to gasp at in every direction. Everywhere you turned was another stunning sight. We headed to the other side of the island to have some lunch with the stunning Arabanese castle as our backdrop before jumping on a bus all the way to the other side of the island. So we have just eaten a fantastic lunch, spaghetti with different seafood, linguine, amongst other things. And now we are headed to, instead of staying here by that lovely castle and beach, we are headed to a spa, one of the best ones on the on the Island. It's not um, one of the famous ones, one of the old ones, but it's got its own private beach and it's got 15 thermal pools. So we're trying to navigate the bus system now, which is a little bit difficult to get there. And we've got about seven hours until we've got to leave for the next last ferry. Yeah, undersold it a bit there, Philip. The Nogombo Spa is the second highest rated spa on the island, according to TripAdvisor. And we were ready for the ultimate relaxation experience. Go for the dunk, Seb. You don't want to go for the dunk? Why not? I've heard people say that. After a quick rent, 15 pools were left to be explored in Saturn, and we were eager to make sure we got the most out of every single one of them. Well, that was very nice. We just finished our spa day, spa day. Didn't actually go into a spa, but just 15 different swimming pools, as you would have already seen. Um, big trek to get over here, a lot of walking, 
um, and a bit of bussing, but I think worth it in the end. General consensus. Keep that thumbs up, yeah. yeah it's good fun. I'm very salted out, lots of salt. All that was left was to take the moonlit ferry back to Naples. It was time to hunt for some food and more beer. After a little bit of parkour, we stumbled into um, some old issues. So this happened to me and Seb constantly in Rome, but I never filmed it. August. We've come, <laughs> we've come to um, we've come to Italy in August, the hottest um, part of the year, when a lot of locals who run trattorias and family-run restaurants go on holiday. They take their leave, so you look up a fantastic restaurant, and unfortunately, it's completely shut down for the holiday season. Therefore, we went to our local down the road from our Airbnb, which was as Italian as you can get. Waiters storming around the place, the smell of mussels hitting your nose before you could see the huge bowl of them. It was a place that smacked all of your senses, but most importantly, your taste. A quick nightcap, and it was time to head to sleep.